Hi, it's me again. Desensitization. Big word there, desensitization. This I really like. Desens desensitization by violent video games and TV shows and Hollywood movies. Oh, that's, that's who we got to attack next. This is uh, the technology industry that makes these things. Well, interestingly enough, this technology industry and these kinds of games were probably invented by the military complex to begin with some number of years ago. You know, in their pursuit of uh, advantage over all the enemies of the world. Enemies being anybody who doesn't uh, hand over their bank accounts to our capitalistic system. Who doesn't set up ATMs and all their machines so that we give them all credit cards so they're all in debt to us. So I wonder about this desensitization thing and its relationship to uh, global warfare. Since we have an economy based on global warfare, got to have a war somewhere, good money. So who's behind that? Well, I don't know. Somebody's telling me that uh, all these dynasties, these families that are, you know, the ruling class in America uh, make good fortunes off of a war economy. That's interesting. So when little Jimmy with a silver spoon is uh, growing up, the silver spoon in his mouth is growing up, so, you know, at some point he says to his dad, Daddy, where do we make all our money? And his dad says, well, okay, here's the secret, son. So he wraps his arms around his shoulder and leads him into the family den, which is the size of a football field, probably. Uh, we make it off of war. War is good money. We've been we've been doing this really successfully, especially since World War II. What? You mean we have to kill all these people to make all this money? Well, son, you know, war is hell, but money is heaven. Or something. So the kid wrestles with it and he becomes desensitized and accepts it and the family fortune goes on and on generation after generation. All the politicians you know, are in these families, or connected to these families, the families own all the banks, goes on and on and on and on. So, before we start attacking the video industry and the gaming industry, why don't we attack our economic policies and our foreign policies and uh, how it is that we interact with the world. I mean, could we actually sustain ourselves on an economy that didn't involve warfare? <laughs> Well, you never know. What else do I want to talk about? Let me see. Well, okay. So here's a guy who feels disempowered because he's lived all of his life under a, a government that's very subtly suppressing his citizenship into accepting this desensitized mode of, mode of economics. And he wants to have you know, some kind of control and power in his life, so what does he do? He looks to those that have control and power, or he assumes they have control and power, over his life, and he emulates them. Emulate. For lack of personal creativity, he emulates those that are already doing what he is about to do. So he uh, kills lots of innocents. Huh. Where did he learn that from? Gee, remember little Jimmy with a silver spoon in his mouth? Desensitization. Desensitization. <laughs> Money is heaven. Power and control over, he over others is heaven. All right. Huh. So anyway, Merry Christmas, Jingle Bells. Da 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 da.